Chances are you're here watching this video because you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire, but you're just not sure where to move to in New Hampshire. Stay tuned, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the 10 most populous cities and towns here in New Hampshire, as well as the best smaller town just outside those areas where you can live and have the best of both worlds. This is your first time here. My name is Jen Baer and I am a realtor and ballroom dance instructor here in New Hampshire. But most importantly, I am a lifelong resident, a native who loves her home state and loves sharing everything I know about it with you. If you are all about learning about New Hampshire, all of its pros and cons and secrets, ins and outs, all of that, uh, hit the subscribe button down below. That way I will have the opportunity to share that with you. By the end of this video, you're gonna know the 10 most populous cities and towns here in New Hampshire, as well as their best neighboring town, and why you should live there. I'm excited to share some of these secrets of New Hampshire with you, starting now. First, I think most people can agree that living in a city has its perks. There are more jobs, there are more opportunities for arts and culture and entertainment, there are more things to do, there are more amenities, but because there are so many people living in those areas, there's just gonna be an increase of those things that are not so favorable. There'll be more traffic, more overcrowding in schools, more crime and poverty, just for the sheer fact that there are more people living in those areas. All right, so secret number one is that because New Hampshire is not a large state, you can live just outside of the most populous areas and still be able to access everything that they offer yet live in a neighborhood with that rural feel, country setting. You do not have to travel far to get to these city centers. Which do you prefer? And you may not know until the end of this video, but if you wanna comment down below and let me know, um, I'd be curious to see for those who are thinking of moving to New Hampshire, if they are wanting to be in the more populous area or if you are looking for that country feel. Stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna share with you the most populous businesses and stores that exist here in New Hampshire so that you know that no matter where you are, you're gonna be seeing these places. The 10th most populous town in New Hampshire is Lebanon. It has a population of 13,785 and it's located in the western part of the state. It is home of Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center as well as the Lebanon Opera House and a seasonal farmer's market in Colburn Park. But if you're looking for the best place outside of Lebanon, that's Hanover. With a population of 8,508 permanent residents, Hanover is six miles north of Lebanon, and it is home to Dartmouth College, which adds to the town's more diverse population as well as offering employment opportunities and economic strength. The Appalachian Trail also crosses through town. The market report for Hanover will show you the most popular, most expensive and least expensive property as well as other statistics. If you want to look at the current listings, just access the link in the description of this video. Number nine on the list is Laconia with a population of 16,579. It is located in Belknap County between Lake Winnipesaukee and Lake Winnesquam here in New Hampshire. Every summer it hosts Bike Week, one of the country's largest motorcycle rallies. And in winter there's the Sled Dog Derby, in fall is the Pumpkin Festival, and year round they have Fun Spot, the largest arcade in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records. But if you're looking for a smaller town, there is Meredith. With a population of 6,662, it is 10 miles north of Laconia, also on Lake Winnipesaukee. It is considered a resort town, has a scenic railroad, as well as the paddle steamer, the MS Mount Washington. It's definitely the best place for a summer home. Currently, there are 14 active single-family homes for sale in Meredith. Here's just a snapshot of the least and most expensive. Number eight on the list is Derry, New Hampshire, with a population of 21,817. It is located in Rockingham County and crossed by Interstate 93 and New Hampshire Routes 28 and 102. It is home of Robert Frost Farm and the birthplace of Alan Shepard, the first U.S. astronaut in space. But with a population of only 11,841, there is London Dairy, approximately five miles west of Dairy. It is known for its apple orchard, Max Apple, Sunnycrest Farm, and Elwood Orchards, just to name a few. It's also headquarters of Stonyfield Farm and partially home to the Manchester Boston Regional Airport. And here is a quick snapshot of real estate in London Dairy, which is a very commuter friendly area. 
Number 7 on this list is Portsmouth with a population of 22,103. It's located on the shortest sea coast in the country. It is a very popular summer tourist destination and the state's creative capital. There are numerous small businesses, shops and restaurants and the Prescott Parks Art Festival every year. And it has numerous historic sites, including the Strawberry Bank Museum. But if you prefer to not live on the ocean, 14 miles west we have Exeter with a population of 9,244. Exeter is home to Phillips Exeter Academy, a world-renowned university prep school, and it has a very strong public and private school system as well. It has a lot of the same shops as Portsmouth, as well as very interesting history and museum, and the Amtrak Down Easter stops here with rail service to Portland, Maine, and Boston, Massachusetts. Market report for Exeter. At the time of this recording, there were only three active listings. Number six is Keene with a population of 22,910. It is in the southwestern part of New Hampshire. Home to Keene State College, it's considered a minor college town. One claim to fame is that the 1995 movie Jumanji starring Robin Williams was filmed there. But if you'd rather not deal with all the college students, there is Jaffrey, New Hampshire, 20 miles southeast. It only has a population of 2,765. Jaffrey is home to Mount Monadnock, the highest point in the county at 3,165 feet, and it's one of the most frequently climbed mountains in the world. Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau both wrote about this mountain. The current market report for Jaffrey shows just how wide a variety of properties are for sale. The fifth most populous town in New Hampshire is Rochester. At 31,880, it is located in Stratford County near the main border. The Spalding Turnpike, which is a six-lane highway, passes through the city, going north to Conway and south to Portsmouth. Rochester is home to the Museum of Fine Arts and an opera house. Fifteen miles south, you will find Lee, New Hampshire, with a population of 4,520. It is located conveniently to other towns on this list as well, and is known for being home to many faculty from the University of New Hampshire. Popular destinations include Flag Hill Winery, as well as Demerit Farm, which hosts the Haunted Overload, winner of ABC's 2014 Great Halloween Fright Fight, and the Lee USA Speedway, a NASCAR racetrack. There are currently zero single-family homes for sale in Lee, but in the past six months, 11 have closed within this price range. Number four is Dover, New Hampshire, population 33,129, also in Stratford County. Wentworth Douglas Hospital is in Dover, as well as the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. There is also Coast, a publicly funded bus network for surrounding communities in New Hampshire and Maine, and the Amtrak Down Easter stops here as well. But if you would like to live in a smaller town that's also home to a university, there is Durham, population 11,159. It is six miles southwest of Dover. UNH was founded in 1866, and it is an historic university town. The community is a young one, as nearly 80% of residents have a college degree, and you will have all the amenities of a college town, the restaurants, the outdoor activities, football games, and there is an arena, the Whittemore Center, which does sports and concerts as well. And here is the market snapshot for Durham. And now we're entering the top three most populous cities in New Hampshire, starting with the state capital of Concord, population 44,019. It is at the intersection of Interstates 89 and 93. Sites of interest include the Capital Center for the Arts, the New Hampshire Historical Society, and the McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center, which is a science museum. Considerably less populous is Henniger with only 1,756. It is 18 miles west of Concord, and it's home to New England College and Pat's Peak, an independent alpine ski resort since 1963. It has 28 trails and 11 lifts and has amazing night skiing. Also noting of interest in Henniger is that the game of paintball originated here in 1981. Looking at the current market report for Henniker, the active listings range from 300,000 to over 2 million. Number two is Nashua, population 90,323. It is located in Hillsborough County on the Massachusetts border. It's home to major private employers like BAE Systems, Teradyne, 
Oracle and an Amazon Fulfillment Center, as well as two regional medical centers and the Pheasant Lane Mall. It was twice named the best place to live in America by Money Magazine in 1987 and 1998, the only one to ever win twice. Less urban than Nashua is Amherst, with a population of 11,201. It is 12 miles northwest and has that small town feel, but there are still numerous job opportunities and amenities. You can visit LaBelle Winery, the Amherst Country Club, or the Amherst Farmer's Market. And here are a couple properties for sale in Amherst. If you would like the current report, just check the link down below. And now for the most populous city in New Hampshire, and that is Manchester, population 113,035. It is located on the Merrimack River. Its nicknames are the Queen City or Manch Vegas. It is located at the intersection of two interstate highways, one U.S. route and six New Hampshire state routes. The once booming mill town is seeing growth with UNH Manchester and many businesses and developers finding a new home downtown. There's a 10,000 seat SNHU arena that holds concerts, as well as the Northeast Delta Dental Stadium, which has New Hampshire's only professional sports team, the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. There's also the Courier Museum of Art and the Palace Theater. Manchester often appears high in the rankings in the U.S. In 2007, it was the second most tax-friendly city in the U.S. In 2009, it was 13th out of 100 best U.S. cities to live and launch a business, as well as first in America's 100 cheapest places to live. In 2013, the seventh best metro area in the U.S. in terms of income mobility. And in 2015, it was first in the U.S. for small business. And the best small town outside of Manchester is Bedford, with a population of 23,322. It is five miles southwest and has been voted a number of times as the best places to raise a family. It promotes small businesses, but it's easy access to the highways. There is the educational farm at Joppa Hill, which is a nonprofit working farm open to the public with a conservation area for hiking and snowshoeing. And the market snapshot for Bedford. And now it's time to discover the most populous businesses in New Hampshire, the ones you'll see around every corner. Starting with the grocery store, it is Hannaford. For clothing and retail, you're going to find many TJ Maxx's. For fast food, it's McDonald's. Around every corner, you're going to find coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. The busiest chain restaurant during the pandemic was Chili's. And for pizza, it's Pizza Hut. Well, I hope that was helpful and gave you some clarity as to where you might want to live here in New Hampshire. Utilize the links down below for market reports on the towns you're interested in, or obviously just give me a shout and I can answer any questions you have. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Hustle on, my friends. I'll see you next time.